you are not obese, also not overweight, you are very slim and slender, very fit looking, however your blood pressure is high, do you know that with just alteration of certain foods, you can probably most likely normalize it with or without the help of medications, especially if you are still pre-hypertensive, meaning your blood pressure is more than 120 over 80, but not more than 140 over 90. Our goal is to have a blood pressure that is just less than 120 over 80. And all you need to do is to try to look into your food intake. There are three food groups that you must avoid. So the first one would be the processed foods that are very high in sugar. So anything that is loaded with sugar, white sugar, brown sugar, even if it's muscovado, honey, and most especially the high fructose corn syrup, these are very loaded with glucose and fructose. Both are inflammatory when taken in excess. So if you have been avoiding all of these foods already, try to look into the hidden sugars that are also embedded in certain foods that are known to be high in starch. So that is our second food groups that you have to avoid. So this can be rice and it can also be root crops and it can even be the natural fruits. But when taken in excess, still is going to give you too much fructose and glucose that you don't need and that inflammation that it will induce will be the primary root cause of hypertension so again try to avoid first the processed sweets like sodas chocolates ice creams cakes the baked goodies the cookies and many more and for the second one the starch so it can be the rice the oatmeal the granola the cereals and the pasta and noodles and even the breads also still going to become glucose the moment it is processed in your body and the third food groups that you have to avoid would be the seed oils so these are mostly labeled as vegetable oil and it can include rapeseed oil it can include sunflower oil and even canola oil may not really be very very heart healthy especially if you take it in excess so it is easily being taken in excess especially that most of the foods that we are eating are already embedded with it so try to use coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil for your food and you will see hopefully it will start to subside focus on real foods the ones in our safe your health try to focus more on real foods it can be meat it can be chicken it can be eggs it can be seafood and you can also eat vegetables especially the non-starchy vegetables the cruciferous vegetables you can also have eggplants okra and many more so focus on real unadulterated foods and you will see your body will start to heal like it never did before always remember to stay a little calm so that we all stay safe